Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my playlist. I'm covering Nasdaq GraphQL with all different uh, ORMs. Like we have already covered Nasdaq GraphQL with the Mongoose, with the Type ORM, Postgres. This video is for Nasdaq GraphQL Prisma app. And first we are going to talk about Nasdaq GraphQL Prisma app schema first approach because there are two approaches: schema first and the code first approach. So first we are going to talk about schema first approach so i have already created a separate playlist if you are beginner if you are not aware what is prisma how it works how it is different from type orm or any other orm then you can take a look otherwise just get started if you are already aware so what i do what i already have is the docker compose file and all the required files i have to spin up the container so what do you see on the screen is the docker compose and compose override file and i'm using the same setup of docker containers in each and every video this is docker compose file and then there is a override file and when i do docker compose up it should be able to spin up the postgres container for me with the example api database if i just check because we are going to use uh, postgres for this I will just remove this uh, database which we already have and then we can create the container again that is the first thing because here we are going to talk about Prisma Prisma will use some kind of a data source either a Postgres, MongoDB, MySQL or something else so let's create first Prisma folder on our root workspace the default code is just a nest CLI generated code and here we can we have to create a schema file that is the first thing we have to do schema dot prisma file and here we start defining okay what is our data source and all these things and i already have a plugin which should help me in writing this file data source db So provider is PostgreSQL and URL, URL will be, I will be getting this from environment. So whatever, because when you do Prisma generate, Prisma migrate, it will look into .env, look for database URL and will load that variable in the process .env and will start using it. Okay, then we will just specify generator client. I think now it should start supporting autocomplete generator client and we have to specify provider here. Provider is a Prisma client is yes. You are already familiar that Prisma will generate a client for us and here we can start specifying the models. Let's say model post. Here ID is of type int, title is of type string. We have, done, we have written a lot of models like this. Content is of type string, published. It has specific language, we have to follow that. At the rate default, default is false. Same is created at this is of date time type, and the default value will be now whatever is the current date time stamp is the default value. Okay, so what we did is we created a basic basic schema. Now why it is complaining provider URL PostgreSQL provider is a PostgreSQL okay I put the comma that was my that was the mistake created at date time and default is now that is a function and now it is complaining let's see what is that content and uh, okay for id we have to add auto increment i'm working with different framework and it's easy to forget these kind of syntax so you can take the reference 
it should be auto increment now it is fine so we have just a simple demoable uh, prisma schema created we have docker compose up already running docker container and then we can just start executing some commands to migrate i mean we have to generate the migration then execute the migration against the database so we don't need to generate because we are already writing the schema inside a prisma schema uh, schema dot prisma file which is inside a prisma folder then we need to have this one npm script to run the migration so what i will do is npm run migrate it will look into schema dot prisma file it will check the postgresql load the database url and create this table it will first create the client if you do the prisma generate in your node modules prisma client when you do prisma migrate it will create this table if it doesn't exist i mean if the no existing migration exists for post which has been executed otherwise it will create a new one so we can do is npm run npm run migrate so what this is going to do is prisma migrate dev it will just load the environment variable from dot env file it will see okay uh, data sources example api it will connect to the database and we already have the database url in the dot env file that is important part don't miss this you have to populate the database url the exact database url with the username password host port and the database theme okay you can enter the name of the migration otherwise it will take the default one okay so you can see migration has been generated this is the migration file this is just creating the post table right now you can add couple of uh, more tables couple of more migration models like okay user uh, whatever you want to do user model so what you can do you can create a user schema for that so let's create couple of more let's say i'm going to create a user schema okay so what it will be simply model user okay and here you can actually use couple of these attributes copy it as, as it is i think the attributes we are going to change id it can be email which is of type string name string then we have password okay so email we want to have this is a unique name is a string password is a string and then you can also have different references like because it's a rdbms relational database where you have to specify one to one one to many many to many kind of relationship i'm just keeping it like simple we have the user similarly we can have a post we already have post we can also have a categories category schema like what will be the category of a particular post created by user and then you can also model the relationship in, in all these so id it can be simply name of the category id name description and allow this for the execution we will execute the same command npm run migrate it will just check okay user and category something new has been added so i will run the migration and i will just create these tables against the same database and you can also do npm run uh, generate command generate command should actually generate the client for us same as the migrate so migrate is actually migrating the tables migrating the schema to the actual database and generate is creating the prisma client because we keep changing the code and we have to generate the client again and again so let's say uh, if we execute prisma generate command here so this is my package json and i will just 
hey add one more command so it is calling prisma generate command loading a normal variables and uh, it should prisma schema loaded into prisma schema and then it should create the updated client in the node modules so this is the prisma and this is the client and here you can see all the models created so what all model we have model post model user and then model category everything is updated so when you go into the node modules dot prisma and the client if you see everything works fine that means your client is updated and then now you can start using the prisma objects like this like prisma dot user prisma dot category prisma dot uh, post something like that because the client is available and you can start consuming this okay let's see that in the next video okay uh, so now what we can do is we can create the prisma service we can create the the post module and all these things so this is our source folder totally empty with just a basic structure here what we are going to do we are going to create a prisma service which will do the prisma which will connect to the database which will just talk to the prisma client and will tell us if we are good with the connection or not prisma.service.ts so here we are going to use uh, the prisma client so import prisma client from prisma client and we are going to import it from prisma client okay and then we can just create an injectable service and the service will initialize the connection export class okay we have to import all these things export class prisma service prisma service which is extending prisma client okay and this is implementing the own module in it so that we can use on init method and do the connection check implements on module in it okay this is an interface so we have to define the method so we can just use on module in it inside this method we can do this dot dollar connect this method will make sure that we are connected or not and that is just a shutdown hook like whenever you are uh, destroying the application then before exit the application should get closed that is just for clearing the clearing the resources so it is taking app argument app which is the i nest js application and what it is doing is it is just checking for this particular event this dot dollar on so we are looking for before exit event before exit do this to close the application okay we need to import a couple of things from nestjs common on module in it this should also comes from nestjs common okay uh, this is how it is looking on module in it i don't know why it is complaining does not have exported member on module in it okay i think o is in the upper case okay so this is a prisma service we have to use this prisma service in the app module 
now we can start ta talking about uh, our posts so this is the post module we are going to do inside the post we will create the, the resolver the service post model post.module.ts we also have to specify the schema and then pass all these schema path in the graphql module dot for root method so here it will be schema dot graphql okay let's first define the schema what all query mutations we are going to write and the same we have to populate in the resolvers and service so service will just do the the prisma cred operation then we have resolver resolver will define all the queries and mutation i mean how to act on the queries and mutation so we have id required this is the title this is of type string content again type of string and required published of type boolean and created at type string okay so now we can also create some input types some custom types which we can use to pass in the the resolver like i wanted to create a new post what all things you needed i need title which is of type string required and content of type string required then we have update post so update post is again another input type we can create and then we can create type query type mutation inside type query i wanted to fetch all the posts created so what it is going to return all the post it supposed should be an array and it is taking okay give me a particular post so that is post by id so this is id of type id that is required and it is returning a single post okay mutation i do we have a couple of methods create post create post it will it is going to take the input type new post we can use these custom types we have created input type new post and it is going to return a post and then we have update post and it is going to take this input this custom type updated post and it is also going to return a single post and then delete post which is taking id of type id and it is going to return a single post so these are the queries and mutation in the graphql schema language i can format this later okay now we need to write resolver and the service okay uh, we can create now prisma service and prisma resolver prisma service is simple it is just a injectable class so we already have prisma service created now we can start adding the methods let's say async post so this can be used for getting the post by id either it will return promise of of single post or null okay and what we will do is we can just use this prisma service this dot prisma dot now you can see all the entities are there dot find one unique based on your selection criteria okay here we have a where query the id is number id okay if this is there otherwise it will return null and you can import all the other required things import post from this injectable we can import from the cs common in post now what all other methods we can think of okay give me all the post get multiple post 
so we will just use copy and paste so let's say there are three methods we have async posts give me all the posts it will not take any argument it is going to return the array of all the posts and we are going to return we are going to fire find many method on the prisma client prisma model find many without any where clause this should be able to return us all the posts then we have create post okay now for create post we have input and then new post this is the typing we have but new post is not an interface we have created so how this how we are going to get the typings for these custom types you have created new post updated post right how we are going to do this so there is a another way of doing it you can generate the typescript uh, typings from your schema file so for that i think we already have this generate typings.ts it's just using graphql definition factory and it is doing calling generate you need to pass the dot graphql files and it will give you the graphql.ts so you can execute this command node or you can also execute npm run typings i think i added something in the package.json you can execute this ts file using ts node so if i do this if you if i do this what it will do is it will generate the schema.ts file so if you generate typings.ts it will generate graphql.ts file which contains all the typings so if you look into src we have something like this and it has all the types export class new post updated post post i mean it's not recommended i mean it's recommended but you can also write dto's uh, to manage that so here inside post resolver i am i can use the generated prisma typings so for that is it not exported exported new post export class new post and we can use this here for the input and then we are passing id id is okay we are going to change this this is a create post create post is taking this payload this prisma dot post dot create is the method and you can simply pass data as input this this will do the creation and then if we talk about update post so instead of input new post there will be update post and then what we will do is this dot prisma dot post dot update is the command i will execute and inside update i will whom you are going to update so you need an id for that so first i will get all the attributes outside this payload so we have input and we already know what all attribute this blog post contains so we have id title content published and this is update post we need to get these typings correct and then here update where id is this and the data is this because it takes two argument the where close where you can specify the id and here you can you have to pass the object so there is a shortcut like because this is the you are not going to update all the attributes together let's say i am passing published if i am passing it then return the published object otherwise do not include it so instead of writing the if else kind of stuff this is the we can nice way of managing things so if published is there if title is there pass the title as a property if content is there pass the content as a property and it should be able to update then the last we have is 
delete post it's kind of simple delete post is just calling delete method prisma dot model dot delete and it will delete it okay uh, i need to get these typing straight src graphql and then i have update post i can just directly update the import definition so this is the post service now my resolver is going to use this service to create post list post update post and delete post so our next thing is resolver we put this code in different file this should be in the service and this is my resolver and i will just name this as a post resolver okay and here i'm going to use this post service which is which we have created instead of using prisma service i just copied the service into the resolver so we don't need to write much code here i have post service now here i need to use the query and mutations and all these methods instead of all this method because i'm going to call this post service from post resolver so let's see how it look like and uh, then we will just quickly jump to the demo so here we have constructor we injected the post service there we imported it and now let's say our simple one is the query give me all the posts okay and this is the sync post and here i'm going to call return this dot post service let's call it as a post service this dot post service dot posts it will return you all the posts and that is what you needed similarly we have other query like get post by id so we can just add another one then we have three mutations so this is the query for the single post a sync post and here we are passing a single argument so argument this is id uh, and this argument is of type string so this is a single argument and you can just pass that here argument okay let, let's fix this what are these warnings and errors so argument is coming from nestjs graphql it's args and then query it should not complain now okay we have let's see this route handler parameter decorator exactly the query find okay sorry this should be a resolver and this is getting this is resolving the post and then we can import it from nsjs graphql okay this query uh, we mistakenly imported from somewhere else it should come from nsjs graphql and now we see things correct similarly we have mutations i will directly write it them down mutations create post update post delete post right and just import the mutations and i will fix this thing okay now our resolver and the service is ready now we need to plug it into a module and we need to pass that module into the app module that's it we are ready we can just check how it is working so this is our app module we imported the post module there and we are just using graphql module here dot for root and uh, prisma module we are not directly using something like prisma module dot for root or no nothing like that because we have generated the prisma client and we just have a prisma service which is just checking the connection to the database and uh, releasing the resources once we destroy the application 
okay uh, so here we have post module which has everything i started the application we already have uh, docker compose up running we already created a prisma generate prisma migrate we have already done that now we can just look into the documentation like what all graphql apis we are getting this is just a simple crud create post and then we have some mutations is like create post update post delete post now we can play with this we are just running a mutation and then i can just simply do a query give me all the posts remove mutations and trigger the query and you get the data right so this is just a simple example uh, simple and stupid nothing much nothing complex just to refresh our concepts of uh, how we were dealing with the prisma like how we were doing a prisma generate prisma migrate and then writing prisma surveys and then writing the different modules which were using the prisma clients to read write and update data here we were using just post service and post resolver post resolver is calling post service post service is using prisma client to do all different operations on this entity okay so this is pretty much now we are going to talk about little more complex uh, complex example of uh, nestjs graphql with the prisma which has authentication authorizations and uh, multiple entities and lot of relationship between them okay so stay tuned i will post that as a next video